Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the epic sax guy or also known as the Gandalf head bobbing meme song. Okay, so this motive, this like I guess four bar motive goes something like this. I'm going to give you a preview of what it sounds like and what it looks like before we start learning. Okay, so check it out. Here's the preview. It goes something like this. Repeat. And then it just keeps repeating itself indefinitely. You can repeat it like one million times if you want, you can read it four times, eight times, whatever. But anyway, I'll teach you how to play this main theme so you can just have fun with it, okay? And maybe play it to your friends and maybe annoy them or just recollect on and like remnants on the old meme, okay? But anyway, yeah, so it's a pretty catchy tune anyway. So let's go ahead and teach you how to play it. Okay, so right hand, it goes like this, okay? It starts on the B flat here. So middle C is here. We go up to this B flat, okay? So it goes B flat, and then it goes B flat again, and then two fast B flats, and then A flat, B flat, and then, let me see, let's just call this the first part, okay? Because the second part is actually really similar. Okay, one more time, the first part, right hand goes like this. So it goes B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, like that. Okay, so basically it's two slow uh, B flats first, so it's like one, and then the second slow one, and then fast two fast B flats, and then A flat, B flat, like that. So basically like this like that, that's the first part, okay? So get the rhythm of it, so it's like, let's go. Like that, okay? So make sure you get the rhythm of that. Once you get it, let's go ahead and teach you the left hand. Okay, the left hand for the first part is only one chord, okay? So the one, the one chord, um, this is E flat minor chord, so it's E flat, G flat, and B flat, okay? So that's the E flat minor chord, so just, I guess get your fingers comfortable on it because it's kind of like this chord some like some people will find this chord annoying because it's just all black notes and it's just like the black notes have a smaller surface area than the white notes so it's easy to kind of slip off and just like like that or just hit the like hit the wrong key but make sure just curve your fingers and just line your fingers on top of the black keys here E flat G flat B flat and just play okay so remember this position and we're good to go okay so the first part uh, the two hands together now, so it just basically goes like this, really simple. The B flat, the first B flat, and the E flat minor together, and just do like this. Like that. Pretty simple, right? So just together, two, three, four, like that. So that's the proper rhythm to it, so together, two, three, four, like that. That's when it's slower, when it's faster, one, two, da, 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 like that. That's a difficult thing because the right hand for a lot of people, four finger is the weaker fingers for most people, okay? If you can't do it with a uh, four finger, just do it with third finger if you want. Just The reason why I do it with the four finger here because I just find it easier to put my finger like just like uh, lined up on the next parts because the next part, the highest note is actually D flat in this song. So yeah, I just try, try to line up the fingers accordingly and the lowest notes is E flat in the uh, later on I'm going to teach you. But yeah, so I just line my fingers up or uh, on top of the keys, but it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Whatever feels comfortable to you, go ahead and do it. But like uh, in my opinion, I reckon you should use the fourth finger because eventually you still have to train your fourth finger and fifth finger because even though the fourth and fifth finger is the weakest fingers of the hand, you still have to train it, okay? So this is a good opportunity to train it. Anyway, so anyway, so yeah. So you can either do like this, like that, or you can do it like that. So up to you, whatever's more comfortable. Anyway, let's move on to the second part, okay? The second part, uh, okay. The second part, the right hand is actually exactly the same as the first part. That's why I broke it up into like this. Okay, so the right hand for the second part, exactly the same as the first part, just goes again like this. So B flat. B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, like that. Just exactly the same as the first part. Like that. Same rhythm as well. The left hand is the only thing that's different. The chord here, there's only one chord. The chord is um, B major, okay? So it's B, D sharp, F sharp, okay? So with that in mind, so B major is B, D sharp, F sharp, okay? So this chord is a little bit awkward as well for some people with smaller hands because it's just like on an angle, okay? 
But anyway, so with that in mind, B, D sharp, F sharp, B major, let's go ahead and put the turn together. So exactly the same concept as the first part, where we just put the chord with the first note on the right hand. So it just goes like this, together. Like that. Okay, so that's the second part. So pretty simple, same rhythm as well. It's like, together, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so that's when it's slower, when it's faster. Two, like that. Once again, the agility here, if you're not that good with the fourth finger, you can substitute it with the third finger. Like that. But anyway, yeah, so that's the first two parts so far. I'll give you a preview, uh, not preview, I'll give you a like playthrough of what the first two parts play back to back sounds like. It goes like this. Okay, keep the rhythm up, so you just always count in one, two, three, four the whole way. So it's like, together, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, like that for the uh, third finger, even the fourth finger is even better, for, like, in my opinion, so. Alright, so yeah, that's the first two parts we've learned so far. Moving on to the third part. The third part now, the right hand changes a tiny bit, the motive. So it goes like this, it goes B flat up to the D flat, B flat, A flat. Okay, okay, one more time, that's the third part. So there's only four notes here for the right hand. It's slower as well, it goes B flat, D flat, B flat, A flat. Okay, the rhythm here is a tiny bit harder because it's like syncopation. So it's more like Okay, so dun, da, 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 like that, okay. So once you get that right hand for the third part, the left hand, once again, is only one chord here. The chord is G flat major chord, so it's G flat, B flat, D flat, okay. So once again, it's all black notes. Uh, just line your fingers up on top of the keys before you play it, or else you just like slip like that, or like that. So that's no good, okay. So make sure you line it up, curve your fingers, and just like that. Yeah, so make sure you just try all the chords um, on the piano for the G flat major chord so you kind of kind of like instantly play the chord easily wherever you are, okay? So G flat major. With that in mind, uh, the two hands together for this third part, it goes like this, B flat and G flat major chord together. And then D flat by itself, like that. So pretty simple again, once again, it's the left hand chord with the first note of that part, okay? So together. Like that, okay? The proper rhythm is a bit hard because syncopated goes like this. Together, two, three, four, like that, okay? Like that, okay? So, like that. So, make sure you do it like that. Okay, so remember, like that. If you can't get it like that, make sure it just like you can help yourself with the left hand just playing like the main beats, like this. Like that. So it's helping you count for the left hand. With the left hand just doing the main beats, okay? So da, 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 like that, okay? So that's the third part. Make sure you get it. Once you get that rhythm for the third part, uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and I'll show you the uh, three parts that we learned so far back to back play like this. So I'll just do it with the third finger, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Uh, four fingers still the same. Like that. But anyway, moving on to the fourth and last part of this, um, this whole like theme. It goes like this right hand, it goes G flat, and then E flat, E flat, F, G flat, E flat, like that. That's the reason why I did the fourth finger, because I can move down to the lowest E flat, as I said before. But anyway, uh, right hand once again, so this fourth and last part of this theme goes like this G flat, E flat, E flat, F, G flat, E flat, like that. So that's the right hand for the fourth and last part. Left hand, one chord again, this one chord is B flat minor, so it's B flat, D flat, F. Okay, so with that B flat minor chord in mind, the two hands together here goes like this. Okay, this is the only time, this fourth part, is the only time where we play the left hand chord by itself first with the right hand coming afterwards. So remember all the other times, all the other three parts, we actually play the chord with the first note of um, each part for the right hand, but this one is not. So remember, that's one like kind of like cue for you to remember this is the fourth part and you won't get confused. The B flat minor by itself, right hand comes in, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, here. That's pretty much it, okay? So the four parts sounds back to back like this. Two. Repeat. Like that. 
that's pretty much it. And as for now, enjoy your time on my channel. Check out my cover, my full improvisation for this song. I made up like a few things for it. I started with a kind of like, soft um, like theme, and then I built up a more like um, to the original, like more beats oriented like kind of improvisation. I did it like that and that, and it ended up with kind of like this ballad um, thing as well. And then I ended up with soft ending as well. So it's kind of like this my whole arrangement of it. I played it as a cover. So check that out as well. It's the video before this um, video because I always do the cover first, then I do the tutorial. But as for now, I guess enjoy your time on my channel, checking out all my like piano covers. I have a playlist made just for like these type of piano covers where I play piano covers on memes. Go ahead and check that out. It's just on my channel. It's like playlist and it's just like go to the meme section and yeah go ahead and enjoy that yourself if you love it okay uh anyway as for now enjoy time on my channel and see you next time hello guys as a reward for watching my video right to the end here is what i have for you if you want to learn how i can play any song in the world including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening then click the first link in the description below to preview my ear mastery book for free Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership. Or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.